Okay, another studio got back to me. Yeah. And uh, another rejection. Zero for 17. Are they even reading the script? I don't even know they can read. A chair for Ahab is undeniable. I mean, economic collapse. Moral ambiguity. A 21st century Electra. What else are these studios looking for? No one wants to take a chance on anything. It's all sequels and reboots and superheroes. But what if we turn out a shit show like that and sell it? Then we'll finally have the clout to get a chair for Ahab finally made. And then it's mansions and Oscars and tail for the rest of our lives. Yeah, I'm not sure a film about incest leads to mansions and tail, but yeah, okay, sure. Okay, so what's hip right now? Uh, musicals. Teens. Superheroes. Well, by that definition, the Spider-Man musical should just be killing. That's the problem. It's a bigger bloodbath than Sweeney Todd. Okay, what else? Uh, horror films. Vampires, werewolves, zombies. Zach Galifianakis. Okay, so we do a remake of The Monster Squad starring Zach Galifianakis. Wasn't that movie about a bunch of kids? Yes, yes, but uh, we'll call it a reboot. And then no one will care what we do to the story. Marvel does it all the time. That's right, they rebooted The Punisher like three years after the first one. Yeah, and they actually, you know, they still haven't gotten the right take on it. Hey, why don't we reboot The Punisher as a comedy with Zack in the lead? There's reboots and there's... there's... The whole point of The Punisher comic is that he's a so-called badass that murders everyone. Why even call it The Punisher? Shh! Logic is the studio's enemy. The Punisher gives name recognition, but all his punishing guarantees an R rating. No studio wants to limit their audience. Okay, this could work, but we'd have to give him a sidekick, like uh, Rob Schneider and Judge Dredd. <sighs> yeah. We need to pull in another demographic. Uh, maybe uh, a pop star from the Disney stable. Who's, Who's a, a vampire? vampire? This sounds terrible. I hate myself. I hate you more. This thing sucks. We're gonna be millionaires. We absolutely loved Punisher Fall Down Go Boom. You guys revitalized the buddy action movie and more importantly made us a ton of money. I hope you're both very proud of yourselves. We are. Thank you, sir. So, what have you got next for us? All right, so it's a little different from Punisher Fall Down, but I think you're going to love it. It's a movie of and for our time. It examines the consequence of living in a first world society. It's an unflinching look at the filthy underbelly of America's upper class. Sir, we give you a chair for Ahab. It's a story about a modern-day robber baron who steals from the poor and gives to the rich. And, and he ruins America's economy with his greed. And in a fascinating side story, he robs his own daughter of her innocence. We think it's a real Oscar contender. And we've got some uh, great suggestions for lead actors. Wow. Guys, just, uh, just wow. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you guys really got your ducks in a row here. I love it. I love it. I mean, really. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. I can't wait to put it up the chain. But first, I've got something I would love for you to take a look at. This is an early draft of a summer tentpole we're banking on. I think you two could really make something of it. Does it say Citizen K No? Or, or is that a typo? Oh, you're reading that absolutely right, buddy. Uh, do you mean Kano, like, from Mortal Kombat? You bet. So it's, a. Uh... Mashup of Mortal Kombat and Citizen Kane. Mashup? Yeah. Yeah, you guys get it. Oh, I'm so glad you get it. Listen, reboots are last year, right? But a reboot mashup? It's the wave of the future, boys. Uh, so you, you want us to 
what, punch this up a little? It looks finished. It's got to be 200 pages, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, we loved your commitment to the joke at the expense of everything else in Punisher Fall Down Go Boom. I mean, the scene where he's about to finally avenge the death of his family, but his vampire sidekick convinces him to enter the Red Bull Street Luge contest, and then he poops his pants? I mean, that was priceless. Wasn't it just? <laughs> Listen, why don't you guys start with the scene where uh, Kano is defending his palace against wave after wave of mutated, bloodthirsty gossip columnists. I think that'll really unlock the tone for you. Uh, I, I, I'm really looking forward to working on this, but do you think we could talk a little bit more about a chair for Ahab? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I'll put this right in the pipeline, okay? It's going right in the pipeline. But first, I just wanted to see if this might be adequate compensation for your work on Citizen Kano. When can we start? right up the chain. Good. From Chris and Colin, the geniuses who brought you Punisher Fall Down Go Boom, the only film to win both an MTV Movie Award and Oscar, comes the swan song that will surely define their careers for eternity. In a world where the world is a world that's melting, one ragtag team of bears will become unlikely heroes. For the future. Ice capped. Bear gunning for you. 